Hey guys, I'm sitting here and I'm just preparing for our weekly office meeting uh, at Haven Real Estate Group and I'm super, super excited to, uh, I'm gonna give you just a glimpse of some of the th topics that we cover in our weekly office meetings. We also do daily Zoom huddles. So tomorrow's meeting will be a Zoom, uh, a live Zoom feed, uh, but we'll be presenting market stats in all of the markets that we're in. But we'll also be comparing our growth, our stats to how the various MLSs are doing. And so I just wanted to share with you some of our statistics for the Spokane market. Super excited about it. So let's just go to the screen and I'll share with you what I'll, sort of a sneak preview of what I'll be sharing with our agents tomorrow. So first thing that we'll do is we'll do just a market snapshot of Spokane County. And we sort of look at uh, the numbers and we compare those numbers uh, week to week. So we're currently at 1.3 months worth of inventory. Now, the next thing that we do though, is we then compare our growth to the MLS as a whole. And what I'm excited to share with our agents tomorrow is that our solds, our year-to-date solds in 2020, compared to the same time period last year, we're actually up 30% in number of homes sold year-to-date as compared to last year. And as compared to the MLS, the Spokane MLS, our MLS, we're actually down 1.5%. So you can see that, that our agents have been working really hard. With our specialized world-class training, we focus on training our agents to condition their mindset to continuously see opportunity. And it's, it, you know, look, I'll just be candid. Cambria and I have been waiting for a market disruption, whether it be an economic recession, uh, or economic correction, or obviously we didn't plan for a pandemic. How do you plan for a pandemic, right? But we were prepared for, and we've been preparing our agents for a market correction. We've been preparing our agents for the last five years, and we've been training them on how to recognize the opportunities that exist in a down market or in a market co correction. And so we're now starting to see the results of that conditioning, that training start to kick in. Look, we've enjoyed a period of 10 years where the economy has been phenomenal. But here's the thing about a great economy. A great economy, it's like a tide. The high tide rises all boats. It's where, uh, pardon the expression, the crap hits the fan that you really find out what agents are made of. And we have a belief at Haven Real Estate Group that, look, our clients deserve the type of agent who in negative circumstances finds a way to win. And that's sort of our mantra. It's the training, it's the conditioning we focus on. Let's look at a couple of other metrics. If we look at the our current pendings, you know, we track at Haven Real Estate Group, we track everything and pendings is a good measure for where our sales are, are going uh, over the course of the next 30 to 90 days. So if we look at this same snapshot from this year and compare it to the same time period last year, uh, currently we're up 27% in pendings year over year comparing this time period right now to the same time period last year, whereas the Spokane MLS, down 8%. Those are huge numbers and we're really excited uh, because our agents are starting to now actually start to realize the results of the conditioning and the training that they've undergone over the course of the last few years. Let's take a look at some of our uh, activity that we track. For example, showings. Even with all the restrictions, even with all of the uh, vastly uh, more difficult, it's vastly more difficult to set up an, a showing. And even still, we're up 27% with both uh, Carrie McCombs and Kylene Emery leading the, uh, the number of showings. And so uh, you look at number of pendings. This is, we go over this each week. This is sort of a ladder board. And, you know, if you look at Connie, for example, has been an agent for just about two years, she started out as a brand new agent. So Connie is leading the way with pendings, eight transactions pending. Interesting to note that the average number of transactions that the average agent closes in Spokane is about 8.9 transactions. So tomorrow we'll be uh, extending a huge congratulations to Connie. She currently has eight transactions pending. Connie was a former client of ours who then became an agent, as was. Next on the list is Carrie. Carrie is now going into her fourth year in real estate. 
started her career with us and she started as a client at Haven. Interesting side note, about 25% of our current roster of agents were former clients. So then we see uh, Kyleen. Kyleen is also a new agent, a new agent to our uh, our brokerage. Uh, she's been an agent in other locales, but she's been with Haven for just under two years and uh, six transactions. Blaine is a brand new agent. He's only been with us less than six months, six transactions pending. Sarah Koning has been with us for uh, a couple of years, started her career at another brokerage and uh, really just felt like her career was stalled at another brokerage, moved over to Haven Real Estate Group, and now she's one of our top real estate agents. Uh, so we just go on and on down the list, and look, the reason I wanna share this with you guys, and of course we've got, we at each of our office meetings, we go over our uh, new listings that have come live in the last week. Uh, on the right there, you see Sarah with a $1.1 million listing there in Deer Park. Our listings, our listings compared this time period to the same time period last year, we're up 40%. So uh, just great, great news from Haven Real Estate Group. Right now, sales and pendings are down about 25 to 30% as compared to last year. In our office, sales are up. What's the difference? Mindset. If you're looking for there to be terrible news. If you're focused on that sales are down, if you're focused on doom and gloom, that's exactly what you'll find. But here's the thing, although sales are down nearly 30%, we're also noticing that, le that almost 50% of agents have virtually checked out of the business in the last two months. So there's massive opportunity if you're looking for it. I love this slide, not all storms come to disrupt your life. Some come to clear your path. So look, I started my career in a down economy. 2009 is when I started my career. I'm so grateful that I learned the foundational habits, the foundational disciplines that would lead to a successful career in, in real estate and ultimately to creating a brokerage. We now have several brokerages in two states. And I wanted to share this message because I know there's a lot of agents that are discouraged frustrated, unsure about what to do next given the current climate that we're in. If that's you, I wanna to highlight to you, there's massive opportunity in this market. If you know where to look, if you're aligned with the right people, and if you have the right mindset. If that sounds something like, like something that you're interested in, I would encourage you, reach out to either Cambria or myself. You can direct message us, you can email us, you can text us, however you want, but don't stay stuck in a situation, in an office, on a team, in a brokerage, in a career where you're feeling stuck psychologically, that's just one of the worst places to quote unquote emotionally live. Don't stay in a situation where you feel stuck. You're going to progress much, much quicker if you're in an environment that fosters growth. And that's what we offer at Haven Real Estate Group. I hope you found this useful and, and uh, interesting and I wish you the very, very best. Thanks for watching.